We're still in our 000 ground floor structural plan, and I've zoomed in on that 10,500 dimension that we placed on that wall. What we're going to look at now is how we actually edit our dimensions once we've placed them. So you can select it like so. Now you'll notice there's various options when you click on it. Can you see the locked option? So you can actually put a length or alignment constraint. So that will lock that length in place and mean that obviously it can't be changed. I don't want to lock it in this case because I might want to change where that dimension goes to. At the moment, I've dimensioned the wall. Now it may be that I need to dimension the right hand end of the wall to a grid line. So we've got a grid line here, for example. So what I can do is I can move the witness line here. Can you see that? I can drag to set the gap between the witness line and the origin. If I click on that little bubble there though, and line that in, can you see I can move it up? So I can edit the dimension like that. And then if I click on this one, I can drag it up further, like so. Can you see that the line changes? Because I've also got a grid line there, remember? So I can drag these further up, like that, take that right up there, and then take this right up here, like that. And you can see now that I can take that down to the actual grid line or over the grid line, like that. And I release that now. If I hit Escape now, that looks a bit neater, as you can see. It's just a case of clicking on those little bubbles and moving the witness lines around. So if I click again there, this witness line, though, is where I can drag the text. So notice, look, I can drag that leader around and make it look very odd if I want to. Now, obviously, that's not really what I want, but I could do that if I wanted to. So I can obviously change things as and when I need to. So if I click here now, you'll notice it looks like I've got two dimensions. That's because I've been dimensioning that wall and I've got a funny bit coming off of this column here, I suspect. So if I click and I drag here, I can drag the witness line to wherever I want it to go. So if I drag it to there, it updates. Now, this is where it starts getting a bit clever because what I've got now, if I hit escape, is two dimensions going to a grid, which is way more important than just that 10,500. So you can see, look, that's how it works. That's how you can edit that linear dimension there that goes along that wall. So I've edited it to a grid, so I've got a space there that's 875 coming between that grid and that grid, but coming off of that grid to the end of that wall is now 9625. If I zoom out now, pan across to my dimensions here, these are all one long set of dimensions. So if I click there like that, I can edit all of them at any time. Now obviously I could make them all equal if I click there like that, it won't let me do it because it's going to grids that are not equal in this case. But what I can do is I can edit the witness lines if I want to here. Now you'll notice where I've tried to do that, the equality error has kicked in and it can't maintain the attachment to the target. So I'll just cancel that because it won't let me do it because obviously those grids are unequal. So I'll select the dimensions again, like so. I can edit the witness lines if I want to. So what this does is it allows me to add witness lines for a dimension. So if I click there now, look, I can add another one. So if I drag that there, as soon as I do that, it'll update. Now, what's happened there is it hasn't witnessed anything. So if I do it again and come in here, I can line in with something, say, here, like so. And I can line in with anything I want to. So if I zoom in tight there and line in, let's say, with something different. Now, if we've got any gaps in the wall, I don't think we have, unfortunately. But we have got that there. But if I do that, You'll see there, and I hit escape. Did you see that witness line change to the overall dimension? So what I've got to do there is make sure that witness line goes in the right place. So if I go there, and I click away, it updates. So what it's done there is it's allowed me to remove that witness line so that I dimension from grid C to grid E. So that's how you edit your dimensions when you're working in Revit structure.